Hi everyone, Dan Saavedra here from MergerData.com, and today we're going to go over how you can bulk enroll contacts into sequences if they have an associated deal in a specific deal stage. So we're looking to pull the contacts that have a deal that are that's in a certain deal stage, whether it's close one, close lost, maybe you're in a demo scheduled stage or something similar, and we want to bulk enroll them into a sequence, and so this is exactly how we're going to do it. So we're going to start out on your lists page here you go to lists by clicking on contacts and then lists at the bottom and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a list here and so we're going to name this list contacts in closed lost and we're going to keep this as an active list here and we're going to click on next and so then we're going to add some filters and what we're going to do is we are going to change the object to the deal object. We're going to click on deal properties here, and then we're going to search for stage. Click on deal stage. And then what we want to do is click on the closed lost. So we can search it as well. So we could do closed lost from multiple pipelines if we want. And then if we want to add any other filters in, we can do that here as well. So if you wanted to add in, in another or another deal filter, deal associated filter, then you would just click on that add filter inside of the same group here. And so then you'd be able to select different deal properties. Let's say you wanted to just have someone who Let's say you want to have someone who hasn't had any sales activities um, or has had less than a certain number of sales activities. We'll do that one instead for the demonstration. Um, so we'll do like less than three. And then that would filter the list by another deal property for the associated deals. But I'm going to get rid of that here to keep it simple. Uh, you can also add in um, contact filters as well. So let's say you're looking for people in a specific industry or they were interested in a certain product, then you can add in that separate contact filter here. And so once again, you just make sure that you're on the correct object, whether it's contact, you can also do an activity um, or anything else really in the HubSpot environment uh, for the associated contact. And so you can get really granular with the list that you're creating here. But for this purpose, I'm not gonna go into any of these filters further. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna just save the list here. And then once that list processes, we're going to be able to select these contacts in bulk and then enroll them in a sequence. So now that the contacts are loaded, we can just mass select all of these and then click on enroll in sequence. And then that's pretty much it. We can enroll them in the sequence here. We bulk enrolled um, contacts that have a deal in a specific stage and we're good to go. You can do this for each stage in your pipeline if you'd like to. If you have different sequences that you wanna enroll people in based on where they're at, you can add whatever criteria you want from different HubSpot objects, whether it's products they've been interested in, things they've purchased in the past, and you can really cater those sequences to the specific user. So I hope this uh, tutorial was useful to you. I'm Dan Saavedra from mergerdata.com. Thanks for watching.